Hey everybody, Sean here at Laurel Ranch. Uh, just giving you an, uh, another update. Um, you can see behind me the uh, the north side of our barn, which is where we had put up some gutters. You can see them there, and then put in some water tanks um, to catch water. And I think we showed that on a previous video, and that has been working amazing. So um, we've had water for the animals, no issues. It's collecting you know large amounts of water. It's great when it does rain, which has not been very often, but right now we've actually gotten a little bit of rain, so it's great. Um, but what we had not done was we had not done uh, any uh, gutters on the front side of the barn um, because that was it was more necessary to get the the water catchment going and we needed that on the back side of the barn and so the front side of the barn the south side uh, that's you guys have seen this a lot in videos that's this whole section right here where the animals are and what uh, what did happen is when we were getting rain is that the water was just coming off like in sheets and then filling up these stalls. So it was actually flooding these animal stalls, even the milking stall over there, just because there was so much water coming down in that one spot. And so I'm, we're actually gonna switch over to an older video that I took before during the middle of a downpour. And you can see these stalls and how they just flooded uh, with water. And uh, um, so let me do that. That was before we had um, gutters and why we need gutters on the front. So let me switch over to that video real quick. You guys can see what was happening. It's so loud. There was no talking that I had because the, the water hitting the metal roof, but, um, but you'll see what I was talking about and how that water was just coming in. All right, so pretty amazing. Uh, you can see all that water that was coming in. It was really just from that runoff, just because it was coming down so heavy in that one spot in front of the stalls. So we decided we needed to put up gutters uh, on the front of the barn. And eventually we wanna do uh, catch the water from there to use it, but um, the tanks are just so expensive and it's not necessary right now. So we'll do it down the road. But we did uh, put up gutters this weekend, as you guys saw in some of the, the videos um, on the front of the barn. And uh, so you can see now there's gutters up there and we've got a downspout all the way on the end right there. Um, and then, oh, I don't know if we can see, but all the way over there, there's a downspout um, coming off uh, as well. And one thing I will say is that doing the gutters on the front, they look a whole lot better than they did on the back. Uh, we learned a lot, made these gutters look a lot better uh, than the ones looked the first time that we did it. But that's with anything, the more you do it, the better it gets. If we do it a third time, I'm sure it'll look better. Um, but I, I will say yesterday we had a downpour and I was out here and I wish that I would have had my camera because uh, these stalls stayed perfectly dry. So the animals were underneath there and they were perfectly dry. The ground out here, it got wet, but it wasn't flooding to the inside of the stalls because of all that water coming down in one concentrated location. And so the gutters really did their job. Um, did realize because of the slope of the ground where I have that downspout there, you can see there's a little pipe at the bottom kind of directing it out. I need to direct that out further just so it gets past all of the pins. Um, and that way none of it comes in, you know, in kind of these run areas out here. But, uh, but I'll do that, that's super easy. Just get a, a little bit of drain pipe and, and add it to there. But just wanted to share that experience with the gutters, super helpful. Um, eventually we'll add a tank over here on this side. So that downspout will just go into a tank, we'll catch that water um, and use it uh, also for the animals. I'm not sure on the front of the barn, so we kind of want to keep that looking pretty. So that one may just stay a downspout, but we'll see. I don't know, maybe we can run some uh, drain pipe underground and catch the water down the road. We just don't want a big tank sitting out in front of the barn. Um, but anyways, very, very uh, happy and excited about the way that that turned out and glad that we did it this weekend. 
and I got it done just in time before the, the rains came and it worked just like we hoped it would. So if you guys, uh, hopefully you guys found interest in that. Um, and these gutters we did all by ourselves. Um, just bought this stuff at Lowe's. Um, you know, so they're not, not as good as like seamless gutters when you hire somebody to come out and do it. Um, but they work, they did the job. And so uh, pretty inexpensive to do, very much doable yourself. Um, so, uh, you know, if you guys need gutters, especially if you're collecting the water, man, that's been a lifesaver. I was hauling water up here once a week uh, for the animals. Mm -hmm with the tractor and so it's been just such a time saver to not have to do that but definitely think about doing gutters um and uh hopefully you guys found value in this you saw the benefit and the value of adding the gutters and uh, what it can do uh not just catching the water but keeping your animals dry uh and out of the stalls so uh, hopefully you guys found value if you did like this video would love it if you guys subscribe keep up with us and what we're, what's going on here at Lowell ranch talk to you guys soon bye